If you guys are watching this video, then obviously Thunder has decided to put me on his channel again. And if that's the case, thank you Thunder so much. I really do appreciate it as always. Ever since you decided to start putting this content up on this channel, my channel, the growth has just been insane. So seriously, thank you so much for all the help that you've been giving me over on my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this man already, if you're new and you just found this through the YouTube search or anything like that, make sure you go to 402 Thunder 402. This man posts some amazing, hilarious content. So as you all know, Black Ops 4 has been pretty bad on content recently. And with this most recent update that has come just to PC and Xbox, I believe PlayStation already got it a week before, this update brought a couple of cool things, some new DLC maps for multiplayer, and a new zombies experience. The zombies experience is cool, I like that, but the multiplayer maps I've still yet to try it, and I played for at least two days, each session was about maybe like two to three hours of gameplay, and I still haven't tried out one of those maps, and I'm a Black Ops Pass ho holder on this game, so, I mean, I, I kind of would like to try them, you know, since I have them, but no, it looks like I'm not going to be able to try out the new maps, and of course, there's no new weapons either. The only thing we're really grinding for in this most recent tier system is a weapon bribe for the Peacekeeper or the Tactical Rifle, anything that you really want that you don't already have. So content and videos are pretty dry right now in Black Ops 4. It's hard to come up with any topics on this game when nothing really is popping off. So a lot of people have went over to the Modern Warfare side. And Modern Warfare has really been getting popular as a topic on YouTube. And it seems like a lot of people want to talk about it at the moment. And the main thing that people are not happy with, the main thing that people found extremely bad about the 2v2 game mode that they showed us was the style of play, saying it looked a lot like Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield. Now before I even go on, don't forget, this wasn't the complete gameplay that you should be judging this game off of. Wait until August 1st, and wait until they bring in TDM, DOM, Hardpoint, whatever game mode they're going to bring in. But a typical pub match, 6v6 action, what the majority of the Call of Duty community will be playing. Wait until that comes out so we can see the perks, the streaks, the weapons, all the good stuff that you get in a typical Call of Duty game. But right now, I think the community is torn. I think a lot of us are just a little confused at what we saw with this gameplay. I mean, it wasn't exactly what we all wanted to experience as our first gameplay for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, a lot of people didn't take this too nicely, and like I said, they think it's like Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield. So, is Call of Duty going through a crisis? Is Call of Duty hitting this point where they honestly don't know who they are? Because even in past titles, we've seen them pull from different games. Instead of making them pretty much who they are. Call of Duty used to set trends just like Thunder said. I mean, they used to make what gaming is. People used to want to do what they were doing. But nowadays, it just seems like they're pulling from every other game nowadays. Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield, Overwatch. But that's not the case really with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I don't think they're really pulling assets from the game. But I think everybody is just saying the overall look and feel looks exactly like Rainbow Six. Now, I understand where you're coming from. I'm not going to call you completely crazy for thinking the way that you just did, that, you know, thinking that Rainbow Six Siege looks like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> but let me just be honest with you guys. They're two completely different games. If you could just take two seconds, I promise, I won't, I won't jam-pack this video with Rainbow Six gameplay because I know nobody wants to watch Rainbow Six. You all would prefer some Call of Duty. But just take a few seconds of your day to check out some of this Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. Can you honestly tell me? that you think that this looks like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. What we saw with that 2v2 game mode looks like <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege. Please, I would love to know how it looks like it. Now, maybe when you're walking, not ads or you're running, and you know, maybe the, the way the gun moves and it sways and everything like that and the recoil patterns, I understand those certain aspects but that's why i'm saying call of duty has been known for taking assets from different games that's just what they do that's how they do things but if the gameplay is not going to play like rainbow six siege it is nowhere close to approaching a rainbow six siege play style when we watched the call of duty modern warfare 2v2 gameplay we didn't really see anything that bad that it was so slow like Rainbow Six Siege plays out. We still saw our traditional sprinting around, gunning people out, and we saw Super Sprint as well, which if you double tap, I believe it's L3 for PS4, if it's PC like me, it's uh, Shift, I double tap Shift, and you run twice as fast. 
I mean, if it was slow and tactical, I don't think it would be anything implemented into the game that would allow you to run twice as fast. And then the next argument that we hear a lot as well is the leaning in this game and mounting your weapon, which two features are kind of borrowed from Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield. The leaning, we've kind of seen this before in other Call of Duty titles, but it was never effective. And once again, I don't think it'll be effective in this game either. Leaning just doesn't really go good in Call of Duty. Now, if they allowed you to manually lean and I can hit a key to lean, it would be pretty darn effective. But I believe in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you have to be pretty much up against the wall. I think it was like in Call of Duty Ghost as well, where you can go up against cover and then aim and then you lean, stuff like that. But if you do that, it gets all clunky because then if you want to strafe to the right, it takes you out of lean and then you get all no it just does not work in call of duty leaning will forever be something that i just think will not be implemented in this game and if it is implemented like you see in call of duty modern warfare it's just not going to be used people are still going to be sliding people are still going to be jumping that is the meta of call of duty nowadays it's not like how it used to be back then the all the sweats if you want to compete with any of these sweats you either go thunder mode and you get the shoddy out and spray them down that's one amazing method <laughs> or you go along with the sweats and you start sliding and jumping as well and i think that's just the meta so i really do think everybody should just relax Everybody should just stay calm, and like I said, wait until August 1st until we see some more gameplay. I don't think this game is going to be as bad as people think, and once we get it in our hands, it might be a little bit better, but who knows? I could be completely wrong, and this game could be complete trash, but at the end of the day, this game will play like Call of Duty, and at the end of the day, just like how Black Ops 4, a lot of people would consider this game trash. We are still probably going to end up playing it anyways. <laughs> so Call of Duty is Call of Duty. They're not going to be going in any other direction. It's not going to be playing like Rainbow Six. It's not going to be playing like Battlefield. Call of Duty will play like Call of Duty. And of course, they will always borrow assets from different games like Rainbow Six and Overwatch or Battlefield. Or uh, I'm trying to think of all the FPS games out there, but I'm kind of running low on them. <laughs> but they, they will borrow all the assets to those games, just like those games borrow assets from Call of Duty as well. Don't think Call of Duty is the only person who's in this. A lot of other games copied from Call of Duty as well to get the success they have today. So, of course, those games aren't like Call of Duty, so Call of Duty won't be like those games. But I'm not going to lie, I'm actually pretty hype for Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now. I don't know if it's just because Black Ops 4 is just driving me mad right now with how it plays and the microtransactions that they're adding into the game and just making it. So, you know, I, I personally paid $100 plus for Black Ops 4, which is the worst idea in the universe. I can't believe I gave them that much money thinking the Black Ops Pass was actually going to be something because there's so much content in this game and I still barely have any of it. I mean like the only DLC weapons I have are the demon and the uh, what other weapon do I even have? I, I, do I have any other weapons? I don't think I do. I think it's just the demon and uh, I got the Galil too but everybody got the Galil. But all these other the Peacekeeper, the SWAT, the, uh, the Switchblade, all, all that crazy stuff. Ballistic Knives, I don't have anything man. Lordy, I didn't get anything for this game. But Modern Warfare is looking good to me. It's looking very nice. It looks smooth, clean, and a lot of people say it looks clunky, but I just can't agree with that. I think it actually does look pretty cleansed. And it also looks like sliding and jumping will be back as well. Not as insane as it is in Black Ops 4. I mean, Black Ops 4 is like at the speed of light. You can barely connect shots with someone who's sliding and jumping around. But it does look like it's making a return, and it still looks smooth and easy to do so this game is looking pretty solid so far i'm just pissed they decided that they wanted to put the 2v2 game mode first that was a horrible horrible business decision on their end they should have definitely made it so we saw the core game first and then maybe introduce these new special game modes that they're coming up with later but overall i don't think call of duty is losing its identity i think they're just trying to add on to it they're trying to spice it up because if we did get the same thing over and over again, it would get kind of boring. Let's be honest. We can't have the same type of content that we had back in the day when it was nice and easy. We expect so much out of these games and we expect so much content and additions that it's almost next to impossible for them to make a core classic. So they have to update it. They have to keep it fresh. They have to pretty much keep it unique. 
but they still have to keep the core Call of Duty feel to it. And they're not going to forget that, I promise you. They will definitely make sure this game feels like Call of Duty overall. No matter what they add to it, no matter what they change, this game will feel like Call of Duty. So let's wait until August 1st, let's get the full gameplay, and hopefully that will be a lot better than what we saw with the 2v2. Once again, I want to thank the man himself, Thunder, for hooking me up with another spot on this channel. Seriously, man, this really does mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to 402 Thunder 402, or you can subscribe to the community channel, Thunderstruck Gaming, that you're watching this video on right now. Also, if you did enjoy the content that came out today and you enjoyed what I put out, by all means, you can always come over to my channel as well, J-Bone the Man. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.